Well, I had lived in East Tennessee for 25 years for my job. And then I retired and thought, well, I need to go home because this is where I was born, military family, so I didn't stay here a whole lot. But I was born here, went to Catholic High here, and came back. And in the newspaper, I read about the help office when a different director was here. And I thought, well, I should do something like that. I said, I'm going to do it. So I came on down, talked to the director, and I started in the food pantry. And we, I worked there for almost a, a year. And then the pandemic hit. And uh, we had to send people home. But I came in, one of the first ones to come back, and I manned the phones and pretty much worked four days a week until the pandemic was over. But uh, it's just a great place to volunteer. Uh, people need food, uh, housing. The things that we provide can be gotten without the, all the bureaucracy going through all that. You do have to interview and that kind of thing, but it's just much more flexible working with local organization. Well, that wasn't really an option. I've worked my whole life and I thought, well, how great to be at home. I thought, mm, maybe not. <laughs> so I thought that's, I wanted to get something to do out of the house, but I did not want another job. So I wanted to do something that would help people. I had a great teacher at Catholic High and she got us into volunteering when we were in high school. My best friend and I, I fixed up toys for school kids and that just always stuck with me to be able to help your neighbors, you know, help people in need. And that's basically what I get out of it. I, when I come here, I feel like I'm helping someone to get food that they need or get them to the right person to help with their rent or their utilities. And I know from experience that those bills are pretty high right now. So um, it's just being able to help someone in the town I almost grew up in. <laughs> Although this is very dear to me and I do you know, donate some money here, being able to actually be on the ground and helping people is the important part. And it's just, it's rewarding to see that someone has some food or that you're able to help them you know, with their rent, something that they need and it's just in short supply right now. In an area where, you, especially if you don't have any money, it's difficult to get clothing. Our clothing is free and there are guidelines for coming in, but people can come in and pick what they want. We try to keep it organized and um, the food, of course, you know, they can come in once a month for that. So we've got food, clothing. They, we collect items for the household, like pots and pans, because you know if you've been in a fire, you don't have anything. It's all gone. So they can come here and get dishes, uh, towels, you know, sh uh, washcloths, things that will help them start back again. It's not like uh, I mean, everyone here is a volunteer for the most part. And if I come in on Fridays now. Some days are, we need more people than others, but that works for me on a lot of levels. And you're not like committing. I, like I said, I didn't want a job. So after the pandemic, I slowly you know, cut back and more volunteers came in. So now I'm able to come in just the one day, three hours, it fits in your lifestyle easily. I'm just doing this for an example. This is a person who's not been here before and there is one adult and four children in this household. So they'll get enough. Um, we kind of go by the servings on the cans. And of course with children, we can you know, find out what things they like. But on the back are things that they want, like canned foods, uh, eggs, meat, what we have. And these are things we normally have on hand. But they'll prepare this for one adult, four children, and they'll be able to, this person is driving, so they can give them a little more because they've got transportation to get at home. If you're walking, you wouldn't get quite as much because you have to be able to carry what you've got to take with you. But there would just be a variety of things, enough uh, chicken, canned chicken even, uh, bread, tuna, whatever you know, would help a family make it uh, it's supposed to be for five days, but frequently it has to go a little further. But they try to make sure there's enough for the number of people in the household. Right.